Hi, fitness friends. Today's curb workout is one that can be done pretty much anywhere. It can be done in your neighborhood, along your walk path, or in a park, or you can even do this at home with a step platform. So just go ahead and get yourself set up and ready to go. Face your curb or your platform, and then step firmly up, up, down, down. Most likely you started with your dominant foot, so just go ahead and continue up, up, down, down. Try to get about eight of those, and then you can go ahead and switch your lead foot. So use your non-dominant foot for a few. We just want to start getting our body all warm and ready for what's coming ahead. And get us a little bit familiar with the height of our curve or step. Also remember these exercises can be done on the ground, so you could be just doing a forward, forward, backwards, backwards step on the ground if you'd prefer. You have about two more, and then go ahead and stand on the ground facing the curb still. And what you're just going to do is you're going to alternate those heels onto the curb. So do heel digs right and left, and go ahead and swing those arms as you do it. This helps to stretch out our hamstrings and get the upper body going as well. Find your right foot and go ahead and leave it up on top of the step toes are up and as you do just have a hinge forward and then come to a tall posture so we're gonna get a dynamic stretch on those hamstrings here hinge and then back up to a tall posture hinge and back to a tall posture let's reset and go ahead and start back up with some toe taps just tapping left and right toes onto the top of the curb here swinging those arms once again Find your left foot and go ahead and bring that on top of the curb, heel down, toes up, and go back to that dynamic hamstring stretch. You're just kind of sitting back into the hips, keeping the extended leg in front of you, and just keeping your chest proud. Firmly place both feet on top of the curb, and you're going to go ahead and step and tap down right and left. So right tap, left tap, and then just go ahead and extend and bend the elbows behind you. So we're just going to warm up those triceps, warming up those glutes, and getting ready for that backwards balance that we're going to be doing as well. Stand next to the curb and just do some side steps. So step, tap, step, tap, side to side, and then take those shoulders with your arms staying long and just bring the shoulders inward and open, inward and open. This just helps to warm up the upper body, sides of the body, the chest and back muscles. Bring your hands to your hips, continuing your sideways motion, but now just lower down, so more of a knee bend as we go side to side. We're trying to make that a little bit wider. Add the upper body by doing some reach and pull arms. Drive the elbows back. Stay with those feet wide and then just start bringing those heels up behind you. So this is called a butt kick. You're bringing right heel up, left heel up, and then bringing both those arms up. So you're going to do some bicep curls. Bring both those heels back down and then turn so you're sideways to the curb. And we're going to just go and do an up and tap. So the inside foot's going to step up. The outside foot's just going to tap the curb. Then you're going to step down, down, up, tap, down, down, up, tap, down, down. All the while, just swing in those arms. Do a few more here, and then you can go ahead and have a sip of water if you need it. And we're going to get ready for our first body strength exercise, which is called offset squats. Here, I'll show you the form first. So if you don't have a curve, you're just gonna plant those feet, gonna sit your hips back, bend the knees, going down and up, putting your hands out in front of you for balance. If you have a curb, you're gonna put your inside foot firmly on the, the curb, sit down just like I was showing you before from the side angle, sit the hips back, come back up, sit and back up. You wanna try to do about 10 to 15 repetitions on that side. When you're done with your repetitions, you're going to go ahead and just turn around facing the other direction. And we're going to do those up and taps on the other side. So up, 
tap, down, tap, up, tap, down, tap. About one more and then set up for those offset squats or the firmly both feet planted squats. So down and up again, you're going to try to go for 10 to 15 repetitions. Use your hands as needed to help guide you for that balance. Moving along into a little bit more cardio, we're going to go ahead and put your right foot firmly on the curb, facing the curb, and put your left foot behind you. So we're going to go ahead and drive that left knee up, knee repeaters here. So knee drive up, tap down, knee up, tap down. Use your running arms to help you balance. Again, your goal is to get about 10 to 15 repetitions on that leg. Once you've reached your goal, step down, firmly put your other foot on. And let's see those on the other side. Once you're done, you're going to come on back down to the ground and then turn sideways. We are going to be doing hip abductions next. Now you can either do these on the curb or on the ground. So what you're going to do is the inside foot is going to plant firmly, keep that hip nice and strong. The outside leg is going to lift. If you have your foot on the curb, have it firmly planted, keep that knee soft, and you're going to lift through the whole leg. So push through that foot to lift through your whole body as you lift your leg out to the side. Use your arms if you want to add some more for some cardio in the lower bo upper body. So just lifting and lowering, making yourself into an X shape as you go. Once you've finished your 10 to 15 repetitions, you're just going to switch to the other leg or you're going to turn around using the curb again. You're going to use the inside leg, plant that foot, outside leg is going to lift, optional arms reach to make yourself into an X shape. For our next one, you may want a towel or a mat for your hands to be placed on. And this is either of three things, your plank, your mountain climber, or standing version. For your plank, either your hands or your forearms on the curb. And you're going to make a long, strong body, having those feet out behind you, pushing through the heels. So you have the option of staying in this plank position and counting. 15 to 30 seconds, or we can change this into what's called a mountain climber. So from this position, you're going to start driving alternating knees inwards. So we're going to drive the right knee in and across, left knee in and across, right knee, left knee. And you're going to just go ahead and try to keep those hips nice and stable. Keep that plank form best as you can as you drive them across. This is a great core and lower body workout, and it's good for your endurance. Goal is 10 to 15 repetitions per leg. Now I also have a standing version of this exercise of the mountain climber. So you're going to stand tall with cactus arms if you prefer. And you're going to drive your right elbow across to the left knee, left elbow across to the right knee. You're going to try to stay really tall, pulling in your belly button as you do this. So alternating sides here, getting a good rotation. Once you finish your repetitions, now would be a good time to grab a sip of water as we'll be moving along into our glute squeezes next. Once again, this can be done on the ground here, standing. So you're just going to stay tall, put one toe behind you. All you're going to do is squeeze your glutes so that toe lifts off the ground. It doesn't have to lift very high. You just want to lift it up by squeezing the glute. You can bring your hands out in front of you as the foot lifts up off the ground. Now try not to put any arch in the low back. Now your other option is putting one foot firmly onto the step and lifting through that foot to so push through the foot as you lift through the leg and squeezing the glute at the same time. So we're doing the same movement, but we're just engaging our standing leg a little bit more and requiring a little bit more balance. Again, you're trying to shoot for about 10 to 15 repetitions on each side. 
focus on elongating through your body, through those fingertips and toes, while that glute is doing most of the work by doing a nice, strong squeeze. Try to do an exhale on your lips. Don't forget to switch legs after your repetitions are finished. Let's go back to a little bit more cardio and something we've done before, knee repeaters, but this time we're going to alternate. So you're going to face the curb and you're going to step up, drive your knee, step down, and switch legs, step up, down, down, knee, drive, and switch legs. So you're going to alternating knee repeaters. Use your arms here as you pump them along your sides, and we're going to try to get it about 15 or so on each leg, or if you want to go for about 30 seconds. next move is for our triceps. You are going to either use the curb or if you have a bench nearby, a really sturdy bench, you can use that as well to get a little higher off the ground. So you're going to go ahead and have a seat on your bench or curb, have your hands on top of the curb and your feet are out facing away from the curb. You're going to push your body a little bit out in front of the curb and lower down and up by bending and extending through the elbows. Now your back is going to be very close to either that bench or the curb and keep those knees bent. You have the option of elongating one of those legs for a little bit more resistance because now we have all of your body weight being supported in only one leg and then using those triceps. If you don't like the tricep dips, you can always go to another option of tricep push-ups. So you'd be in your plank position with the bend and extend of those elbows. Wider feet will be a little easier than narrow feet. When finished, stand back up and face sideways to the curb. We're going to do lateral lunges. Our first version is the static lateral lunge. And this one here, you just put that inside foot on the curb and you're going to bend the knee and extend. Use your hands in front to help you balance. Now again, 10 to 15 repetitions. If you prefer a little bit more balance work and a little bit more challenge, you're going to step off and on during these lunges. So you're going to step on, sink, off, and tap back in. Use your hands as needed. Try to sit back into those hips while keeping the chest lifted. Once you're finished, go ahead and just turn around and switch sides. Again, 10 to 15 repetitions. Whether you do them dynamically or statically, it's up to you. Whatever feels best and whatever challenges you. Moving along into our next exercise, which is called V-shaped steps. So you're just going to step forward in a V fashion and back. So it's going to be wide forward and back narrow. And you're going to just use your arms. So here I'm showing you first the grounded version. And then here in a moment, you're going to see the step up onto the curved version. So either one works, whatever makes you feel more comfortable with the balance because you are stepping backwards down off the curve. So feel free to use either version. You have the option of it sinking down a little bit lower into those legs on the top of that curve there when you get into that V shape. So feel free to add a little bit more intensity as needed. Let's start our next move by getting into a lunge stance. So put that right foot forward, left toe into the floor behind you. Now you can do this on the curb or not. I'm going to show you a version here of just coming down and up into the legs. So you have that foot in the front firmly planted and all you're doing is sinking down and up. 
down and up and go ahead and put those hands out to the side and give you a little extra balance support as needed. Now if you want to do a dynamic version of it, you're going to step in and back as you lunge. So either way is fine. The one is static, this one is dynamic. And then go ahead and add some bicep curls. So curl those arms. All you're doing is just bending the arms on the down and extending them on the up. So we're gonna get that upper body involved and try to really make a nice fist with those to pump the blood to those biceps. Switch sides when you're ready. Let's again turn sideways to our curb or step. And we're gonna do an up and tap again like we did before, but this time we're gonna do an up and tap. And when you up and tap, drive the knee higher. So we're gonna try to take that knee up, bringing the inside elbow down and trying to meet it. So no rounding forward, just bringing the knee up, elbow in and across. This is a good core workout along with our balance, coordination, and some cardio. Here's an optional version, standing on ground, not using the curb. Don't forget to switch sides after about 10 to 15 repetitions. Next is called balance side shuffles. Now these are side shuffles, so it's just a step together, step together, like two or three in one direction. But to make them balance side shuffles, you'll be standing on the curb. So make sure you have as much of your foot on the curb, toes facing forward, and you're just gonna shuffle down the curb and back, foot together, foot together, and you're gonna try to get lower into those legs as you do. Just bring those hands up to help guard or to balance, and then just shuffling down and back. Again, you go as fast or slow as you can because this is a balance exercise. We're gonna go back to putting our right foot on the curb and facing the curb, putting your left foot behind you, toe to the floor. Kind of sink down to those legs into like a squat. And you're gonna take that toe and you're gonna tap the toe on and off, on and off, and drive those arms. So tapping on and off, going 10 to 15 times. Once you're done, you're gonna step off switch the foot that's planted on the curb and you're going to do the same thing with the other side. Once again, this can be done on the ground if you prefer. Our next exercise, heel raises, can be a little bit tricky on the curve. So if you have balance concerns, stay on the ground and just perform this on the ground. If you feel really comfortable on the curb, go ahead and bring both your feet onto the curb and just have your heels hanging off just a little bit. Hands in front and you're just gonna go ahead and lift the heels up and down. So lifting the heels up and down. Now the beauty of this exercise is on the curb, you're gonna get a little more range of motion. So we're gonna to get to use a little bit more of that calf muscle. So if you feel comfortable trying it on the curb, go ahead, up and down. You are gonna work with your balance through here, so just be as careful as you can. Have a slight lean forward. Let's finish up with some balance walks. You can either do a heel toe walking on the ground or you can try heel toe walking on the curb. So if you have balance concerns, I suggest you use the solid ground. If you're feeling a little bit more confident here, go ahead and heel toe forward and back. Try to do two or three steps forward, two or three steps back. If you can't go backwards, go just forwards and then turn around and come back forwards again. And this is our cool down and we'll be stretching next. So just a few times forward and back, using your arms out to the sides to help you balance or bringing those hands in for more challenging movements.
Grab a sip of water and let's do some stretching. Face the curb, put one foot on the curb with the toes up and sit back into the standing leg. Now you're just going to stretch the hamstrings here. So keep those toes up and engaged towards you. Keep a tall torso and an elongated spine. You're going to try to hold seven seconds plus here. So you can hold up to 30 seconds if you like. Um, I'm going to hold probably about seven to 10 seconds myself. But when you're done with your hold, you can go ahead and switch to the other side. Just make sure those toes are up and inward. Now if you need to pause the video to do your stretching, please do and then just push play when you're ready to move on. This is your hip flexor stretch. Place one foot on the curb, the other foot out and behind. Squeeze the glute to push the pelvis forward. And then take your hands and bring them out to the sides to open the chest. You're going to try to keep those shoulders relaxed and down, drawing the thumbs back, putting a little squeeze in the back muscles to open up the chest. After your hold, go ahead and switch to the other side. And again, make sure you're really pushing those hips forward by squeezing the glutes. And on your other leg, you can go ahead and also change those arms up by pulling the arms down and back behind you to open up those shoulders even more. This next stretch is called a quad stretch. Ground one foot, bring the other one up behind you. You can grab a hold of it if you prefer, but you don't have to. Stay really tall and try to just draw that foot in towards your glute. Engage your abdominals and keep shoulders relaxed. After you're done with that hold, go ahead and ground your foot and switch sides. Our last stretch is your calf stretch. Both feet firmly on top of the curb. Take one foot, slide it halfway off, and then just let the heel hang down. Try to position your weight in a slight lean forward to help counterbalance yourself, using those hands as needed. Thanks for joining me today with my curb workout. I hope you guys had fun. I hope you got a good workout. I love your comments and suggestions, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care.